Okay, here we are, uh, doing a little extended work here on the practice problems. Uh, I've picked some of the even-numbered problems on your homework because I know some of the odd-numbered problems might be a little challenging. Now, what we're going to look at this age chart right here, um, we've got some people 19 and under, 20 and 21. Now, here's what I strongly suggest. I strongly suggest you add up the totals going horizontally and vertically. So let's do the vertical total of 8,050 and the total of 7,697. Now the reason why we want this is sometimes they ask for how many men or women in the, in the sample and it's nice to know those totals. It's also nice to t know the row totals here too. How many people were 19 and under, 20 and 21. And that gives me a grand total of 15,747. Okay, so what's the probability of men who are 19 and under? Well, that's easy to see. It's 4,746 over 15,741. Now, again, it's really nice to use your calculator to do some big time reducing of fractions. So, if you type in 4,746 divided by 15,000 747. On the TI-83 and 84 calculator, you can press the math key and hit the enter key, and it will reduce that fraction if possible. And it reduces it down to 1,582 over 5,249, or about 30 percent, or 301 thousandths. Now, if it can't be reduced, what it will do, it'll just convert it to the decimal and just tell you that. Now, what if you are 20 or female? Now, see, this is an interesting thing. Take a look at your chart. They want basically anyone who's age 20 or female, and you'll notice that these are not mutually exclusive because you can be 20 and female at the same time. So my suggestion is to take the total female here, which is the 7,697, and add your 1625 to that, which is the same thing as adding these four um, circled things up, which is 9,000. 522 over 15,747, that's our total again, which uh, isn't simplifiable, but the fraction, the decimal is going to be 592 thousandths, about 59%. What is the probability of being at least 20 years old? Okay, well, we want to be at least 20 years old, so basically I'm adding up these four sections here, the 1625, 1553, 1679, and the 1627. I'm adding up all of those. I've shown that here on the video. And I get a total of 6,484 divided by 15,747, which is approximately 41%, or 412 thousandths. Now, for the one problem down below, um, you can do the same thing again. I would add up how many first-class letters, ads, and magazines were done in each category, in, um, in each uh each column, and that way you can also add up how many uh, total things are mailed to home uh, and businesses. And then your total of 2,784 is really important. At this time, you may want to pause the video and try these problems on your own and see if you can get the answers correct. All right, here we go. How about the item going to a home? Well, that was nice since we added up the first row. This is 934 over 2,784, reducible to 467 over 1,392, or 33.5%, or 335 thousandths. All right, now this is an interesting one. This was an ad or went to a business. Not mutually exclusive. See, here are all the ads. And here are all the businesses. All the businesses are down below here. So since these are not mutually exclusive, we would have to add up all the businesses and then add up just the ads that we needed. Now, the book will want you to add all these up, add all these up, and then subtract the 1,021. But the faster way to do it is to just add up all the circled numbers, which I did right here. I took my total number of business mailings, which is 1,850, added the 406 that ads that went to the home business, for a total of 2,256 over 2,784. Simplify that down to 47 over 58, thank you Mr. Calculator, and that gives me about an, that gives me an 81%. And now the final one. What is the probability that the item was a first class letter or it went to a home? All right, well that right there is interesting because what we're gonna need is we're gonna need all of the ones that went to the home, so we need this first row and we need to add the first class letter, 752. So again, we need this whole row 
and this blank right here that was a first class letter to a business. So that is 732 and 934 which gives you a total of 1,666 over 2,784, reducible to 833 over 1,392, which is about 60%, or 59.8%, 598 thousandths. Okay, I modified this last problem here just because it would have gotten way out of control if I added in all the food that they did. But on page 30, on problem 34 on page 198, we're looking at two appetizers, four entrees, and three desserts. And we're looking at a tree diagram. We'll start out with our two appetizers, A1, A2. And then we'll move on from here to one of our four entree choices. And then from each entree choice, we have three desserts. And you see how messy this gets. Um, there are a total of 24 different combinations. And you can just go down the chart to list them all. A, E, D, which is A1, E1, D1, A1, E2, D2. A1, it's just, it will take a long time to say them all out aloud, but you can carefully look and list those, and one of your homework problems might be a little hairy like this, but um, I promise you on the exam I wouldn't give you a tree diagram that's this big.